All right, let's just go ahead and jump into some fishing, guys. I'm back, way back on the border of the Everglades. Kind of like agricultural area, I guess you could say. Oh, wow, first cast. What the hell? What? Get it up, get it up. Oh my gosh, look what I just caught. That's literally on the first cast, guys. I just dropped this in and I caught, let me watch his teeth. He's peeing on me. What a beautiful fish. Just smoked that lure. Wow, I was just literally just turned on the camera too. So you know what? I've walked far enough. Let me uh let me film. Look at this beautiful jaguar sickly guys. Whoop! Dropped them. They got some teeth, so I don't like to grab them in the mouth. Look at that. Beautiful jag. Beautiful jag. That was awesome. First cast of the day, Jaguar cichlid. That only means one thing. There's fish in this canal. So I picked a good place to pull over and, and walk. So now, let's see if there's another fish. Booyah. Shout out to uh, the real hooker bait and tackle. Nines Optics, right here. And uh, Livingston Lures. Well. That was a very unexpected catch for me. Like, uh, I was just casting to start the day, you know? And uh, boom, got smacked. What's crazy is walking up here, I actually haven't even seen a fish. That's the first fish I've seen just walking around. Before I continue with this fishing session, let's fast forward one day to my snakehead adventure. What's up fish gang? Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. That's Catch Everything Outdoors. And that's exactly what we're doing today. We are going to catch some snakeheads. At least I'm targeting snakeheads. I've got a brand new Cast King MG12. It is right now probably one of my favorite, favorite reels. And it's on my Savage Gear rod with the Livingston Frog, which makes noise underwater. So uh, let's see if we can put this combo together, put to use and catch some fish. Let's start off the day by commenting fish gang in the comments. That way I can heart your comment and I know who's watching. But without any further ado guys, let's get into the episode. I literally just took this out of the box and, and spooled it up. So I do not have it dialed in quite yet, but uh, we'll get it. We'll get it going as we uh, get through the day. I like to cast a cross that is a little too fast for me. A little bit of backlash, let me get. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. Get that little chunk of chish off of here. I think I'm ready, man. Let's uh, let's put this to use. And we are in business. There's actually a snakehead following me right now. Oh my gosh. He's following, he's following. He turned around. Let me go here and see if we can get a top water. I do want to try for that peacock, so I brought a secondary setup here. It is also another MG12 with uh, another Savage Gear rod, but I got my little swim bait. I don't know where either one of them went. No! So things started off really fast. Literally my first couple casts, I already got chilled by a snakehead. I just didn't initiate the uh, the hit i just was working the lure a little too slow but uh i saw a giant peacock swim by as well so i decided to throw the swim bait um and now they're both gone so i'll see you back in a minute when i find some more fish that is a koi swimming free in the canal and that's an expensive koi it's not just like some cheap little little fish right there so uh pretty cool find Oh no, my God. Being that I'm new to snakehead fishing, one thing that I've learned is that it's not simple. I'm not just gonna run out and catch 20 snakeheads. You know, it's not like bass fishing. It's not like snapper fishing and stuff like that. So when I go out and when I do get one or two, that's pretty much a good day of fishing if I'm going for snakeheads. All right, guys. So what happened was after getting blown up on 
by about six or seven small snakeheads, I got hooked up on a bigger one. And I wasn't recording, but it broke my line. My line popped. So I lost my lure. And I had to get this old lure from out of the bed of the truck. So I went and finished up the day, hopefully trying to catch snakehead with this lure while I wait for a new Livingston lure to show up in the mail. But we'll still get on them. Just gotta find them. Ooh, I just like, oh, mother Emmer. Oh, that was one. That was one. Not sure what I did wrong. Oh, snap. He just got the legs, I guess, because <laughs> he ripped the lure all the way to the front. Dang, how the heck did that happen? Golly, just sitting here talking, and boom, snap, popped on a snakehead. So my day of snakehead fishing came to an end without a snakehead, actually without a fish. I literally got skunked in six hours of fishing. Could I have switched it up and maybe tried some other techniques and then hooked up on some other fish? Absolutely, but I wanted to catch a snakehead and I didn't so here we are So let's get back to yesterday when I was catching some exotic fish Listen every cast is a good cast. It's just better when the fish bites so Cast away Cast often and catch more fish. That's the moral of the story Kind of work these little Edges where there's fish that can hide underneath I don't get to catch jags too often, so it's always nice when I do see one. Typically, I'm going for peacocks or snook or tarpon or something. So, that was definitely a cool catch. Now I feel like every every cast I should get smacked, but this is fishing, not catching. So, I can't, I can't expect too much. At the end of the day, we're just doing our best to catch while we're fishing, right? Oh, I'm on it. Another fish. What? What? That's another one. Another jag. Today's Jaguar day. Let me show you something about these beauties. You see in there? They got little teeth. They got some teeth, but man, check out Jaguar number two. Look at the, look at the front right there. That's why I don't lift these guys. Cause they got some teeth. Beautiful, beautiful fish again. <sighs> Let's go. And now I've just been casting like up underneath right there and letting it fall on the other side. And they're hitting it on the drop. I mean that that cast was immediate. I know I wasn't recording, but the second it hit the water, that thing got smacked. I guess. The jags are out today. Kind of fishing it like I'm like I snakehead fish. Cast to the other side. Let it go off the edge. Oddly enough, I have not seen any peacock bass, which is what I actually came here for. Oh shit! I'm on again a strong fish what do I got this time I got a tiger Oscar now it's a tiger Oscar chill buddy chill I'm gonna show how pretty you are this is a lot of people call these aquarium fish pet fish you know I just call it an invasive fish and a fun fish to catch. Look at that spot, kind of like on a peacock bass. Look at that. So beautiful, beautiful tiger Oscar here. Fish number three. Just walking. Just walking. Fish number three. Let me fix my lure because I actually did not bring my backpack with extra lures. So we're going to do our damnedest to keep catching fish with this one. Ugh, he has beat the hell up. But you know what? He's tough. Yeah, Tiger Oscar actually fought harder than the Jag. 
wild. All right, so GoPro ran out of battery. So now I'm filming on my cell phone, which I actually dropped about 300 yards back. So I was all the way up there going to my truck when I realized my GoPro died and I went to grab my phone to film something and it was not there. So I had to walk all the way back over here. So right now I literally have my GoPro leaning between my chest mount and the GoPro mount. Like leaning between the GoPro and my body on the chest mount. So I don't care what you say. I'm a smart freaking guy. All right. Not just anyone would have thought of that. But now at least I can keep casting and filming in case I get something, you know? I don't have to just end the video without catching the fish because now I've got a camera again. Audio, not sure how good it is because I did not bring my uh, Osmo camera today. At least not on this walk because I would have had to carry a freaking tripod the whole time. So that's never fun. Filming by yourself and all the other YouTubers out there can uh, attest to this. Filming by yourself is never uh, the easiest task. Especially when you're trying to catch all the content, all the the casts and the close-ups and the different, you know, angles and stuff. So, y'all don't realize YouTube is hard work. Social media content is hard work. Put a lot of effort into this to become successful and become popular and to provide content for you guys that you want to watch, you know? Oh, there it goes. Yeah. There it goes. See? And just like that, I dropped it. Got another one. Another one. Oh, this time I finally got the trifecta. Yeah. Almost. Oh, not my phone. It's okay. I can pick it back up. Look at that. Beautiful peacock bass on the lure. Let's go. I got the trifecta. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just bouncing it near the bottom. That's all I'm doing. Letting it drop on the far ledge, kind of working it along the bottom. Let the tail do its thing on that little swim bait, and that's it. That is it. I do see a fish across the canal right there. More than likely, it's just like a tilapia or something. But let's see. No, no, no. Let's drop right there. Oh, oh, got my phone. But I'm on. I did see a fish. So I wasn't lying, guys. I was not lying. Ooh, and it's jumping. How about that? Ooh. 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 What is it? Another tiger Oscar, and this is a beautiful one. Look at this. This one has even more spots than the last one. Wow, boom, look at that. I knew I saw something across the canal. I knew I saw something, but man, beautiful, beautiful fish. Give this video a thumbs up. If you like the Fish Gang shirt and you want to support the channel, go to CEOfishing.com where you can buy a Fish Gang shirt right now. You can even buy Florida hats. And I have a variety of other t-shirts that you can purchase. But more importantly, if you like fishing in the outdoors, make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now. The important thing is not just subscribing, but you have to hit that notification bell. Otherwise, regardless of subscribing to the channel, they will not put my videos on your feed. So guys, until next time, keep your head up, keep moving forward and tight lines. Zzz.